I know. I don't know where that audio is coming from, actually. Well, hi, everyone. I believe that we are now actually live. Um, so, yeah, hopefully somebody can confirm that in the chat in the time on it fashion. Um, I don't know where that audio is coming from. Yeah, there's some audio. Ah, hi, I see. Everyone. I believe that we... Right, there we go. Okay, let's get rid of that. Um, so, yeah, we'll start by, first of all, I need to apologize on behalf of one of our um, guests who is currently having some audio uh, difficulties. Um, there's, always, there's always some technical hitch with these live streams. So one of the four composers has a technical issue at the moment, but hopefully will join us during the course of this uh, live stream. And so I'm Brian Waters from the YouTube. For anybody who doesn't know, let's go around the um, panel, as it were, and uh, you can introduce yourselves and just tell us a little bit about yourselves, like who you are, where you're from, and uh, maybe a little bit about your composing life. Uh, Navid, do you want to start? Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Navid Lancaster. I'm from Trinidad and Tobago in the Caribbean. I have been a film composer and a sound designer for the past 11 years. Uh, before that, for about 20 years, I was in various aspects of the music industry in terms of uh, recording, producing artists, uh, doing live sound and so forth. Uh, and I run a small outfit called Landcast Limited and we uh, compose emotions for award-winning films, video games, mobile applications and animation. Happy to be here. Thank you. Thank you, Navid. And uh, some of you will know Navid. He's been with us uh, since more or less day one. Uh, he was on our very first live stream roundtable, as indeed was Matthew. Um, so that's a nice little segue. <laughs> it's a perfect segue. Matthew. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Matthew Thomason. I'm based in Falmouth in Cornwall in the UK. Uh, I'm a composer for film, theatre, contemporary dance, uh, and just entering the world of opera. So I've just started writing my first opera, which is um, quite cool. Fantastic. It's quite different, but yeah. So, yeah Wonderful. Me. So are you actually writing the opera, yeah? Yeah, so I'm writing the opera and it's for a site specific opera. Um, so I have to compose it and arrange it for instruments that can get wet. <laughs> <laughs> because it's gonna be outside, so it's gonna be interesting. Is it gonna be in this Cornish sea? It's not going to be in the city, but it's going to be in the Cornish, unpredictable weather. Um, and okay. there's going to be live horses, so mm. what could go wrong? <laughs> weather. So, um, it's going to be the world's first horse opera, so there's going to be live horses. It's going to be site-specific across a span of fields where the audience kind of goes on a little journey. Oh, right. Around. Uh -huh. And yeah, so I've settled on two flutes and a drum. That's okay. going to be the, um, that's going to be the, the, the back score and then there's going to be voices so yeah i didn't mean to go off on a tangent then about the opera but uh, anyway I didn't. no that, that's great and uh will it be in cornish it won't be in cornish no it's it's sort of set in a mythical land so um there might be elements of the cornish language in there as well as some other languages um but yeah not strictly cornish although there is a lot of cornish language uh, stuff going on at the moment which is great mm -hmm. yeah definitely there's a new film out right Mm. Um, I was just reading a review of that today. Anyway, we digress. Um, Catherine, hi. Hello, hi. Um, yeah, I'm Catherine. Uh, I'm from Venice, but I'm currently in the UK studying film music. Uh, I don't have a horse opera going on or anything, but... Uh, Not yet. Uh, yeah, no, I, I get very inspired, though. Sounds very cool. Uh -huh. um, yeah, yeah, so it's... Just uh, doing study film, doing it for some time now, and you know, went over here because it's not something you can study in Denmark really yet. So um, here we are. Mm -hmm. yeah. Until you go back and start your own conservatoire, yeah. Yes. <laughs> That would be cool. That would be good. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, well, thank you, guys. Thank you for coming. And um, so basically the plan is, uh, so we have this Terminator trailer, which is just over 60 seconds long, I think, yeah? And each of you uh, have uh, created a wonderful piece of music for that. So we're just going to share those. Uh, none of you have heard each other's. 
So the idea is that you'll hear each other's for the first time and perhaps have a little bit of discussion about how you approached it. Uh, we're going to rattle through it fairly quickly. Um, and then, um, yeah, everyone else out there can have a go themselves. And um, we'll be doing a live stream uh, next week uh, going through what other people have done. So does that make sense? <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> All right, so let's start with um, Navid, actually. Um, so yeah, as I say, if you can just mute your microphones and then listen to it on the live stream along with everybody else, uh, that, that should work. <laughs> um, I think that's our best chance of success. Do I, do I have to give an explanation first? Or? Um, it's entirely up to you. Do you, want to, do you want to say something before we play it or afterwards or both? Let, let's, let's go after. Okay. All right. So we'll go in completely blind and we'll just listen to your piece. Okay, everybody ready? Here we go. Talk. Talk fast. You first. Never seen one like you before. Almost human. I am human. Just enhanced. I can see you're very upset. I'm going to help you protect the girl. Why do you care what happens to her? Because I was her. My name is Sarah Connor. August 29, 1997 was supposed to be Judgment Day. But I changed the future saved three billion lives. Enough of a resume for you. No. You may have changed the future. But you didn't change our fate. It's a major, you know, it's lots of metal. Uh, so what I decided to do was to incorporate aspects of our stereotypical culture mm. in uh, the trailer, because we, we are very rhythmic. Uh -huh. uh, so I, I used something called the, well, they have a sample pack now, uh, but it's an actual group called the Lavender Rhythm Section, which is basically, they, they develop rhythms using iron, and uh, drums and so forth. Uh -huh. And then I just added that to some um, sound effects elements and put it all together. And what I really liked about this is that it had some swift demarcations or hit points in the trailer itself. So for example, when um, when the, the laser slammed into the wall, you know, uh, that I he said that was a very good point to start the, to pick up the pace you know, of the, of the trailer. And, it, and as the trailer was getting, you know, faster and faster cuts, I just escalated that tension mm -hmm. uh, right up to, you know, to the end. So that's basically what my, my general idea of how to put it together. And then of course, you know, slam a lot of bass so it keeps people moving and keeps people attentive. Lovely. 
guys, do you want to, any, any thoughts, any feedback, any questions? Yeah, I, I thought the, the percussion was, it was so interesting and you could really hear, you know, it, it was a specific sound. It was really interesting to hear because we have a lot of, you know, percussion that's quite trailer typical. Mm -hmm. And I thought this sounded really different, which was really nice to hear and, you know, really kept the pace. It was nice. Yeah, I agree. I think um, you could feel straight within the first about 12 or 15 seconds. It, I started to feel quite tense, <laughs> which I guess is quite good. It felt like it was building, which you really want. It's like, oh, where, where's this going to go? Where's this going to go? And then, like you say, when when um, there was the wall slam moment and the pace pick, picked up, it was like a really nice natural progression of feeling quite anxious, but in a good way, to um, sort of having that, that energetic release. Yeah, it was, I really, really enjoyed it. And it's really fascinating to see how, how people approach things differently. Yeah. You know. Absolutely. That's one of the things that, you know, I think this is interesting to pull out, isn't it? The different approaches. Mm -hmm. And it's not, it's not really intended to be like a masterclass or anything for people out there. It's just showing, you know, equally valid uh, approaches to the same thing, just for inspiration, information, reference, mm -hmm. and all the rest of it. It's not a competition, guys. <laughs> <laughs> there's no prize, I'm afraid. Sorry. Did I mention that? Did I mention there's no prize? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh man <laughs> um, okay in this completely prizeless competition uh, the next entry is um, Catherine so um, yeah same drill uh, mute those microphones and uh, have a listen to Catherine's lovely piece here we go Talk fast. First. Never seen one like you before. Almost human. I am human. Just enhanced. I can see you're very upset. I'm going to help you protect the girl. Why do you care what happens to her? Because I was her. My name is Sarah Connor. August 29, 1997 was supposed to be Judgment Day. But I changed the future. Saved three billion lives. Enough of a resume for you. No. You may have changed the future. But you didn't change our fate. What I find interesting is that she found a piece that that fits a lot of hit points. Where for me, I found it was a down for me to do. So I had to break up the trail into separate parts, you know, to 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 find where things could hit properly. But she found this on the perfect um perfect tempo and perfect BPM. I, I changed it quite, that was, I, I think that was probably what I spent most time doing. I was speed mapping for so long because I was also like, okay, I want to hit those points. And so I ended up with having like, okay, 189.3, and then we go up to like 192.5, you know, just to, to actually get the right time was that good. It was a bit, uh, it was difficult. In the beginning, I also had the, you know, the three paths that you can sort of divide it into. But yeah, that was definitely a main focus. And I think I really liked the sort of harmonic and melodic build up. Like it was like a real slow burn, but it felt and like, I mean, slow burn in terms of the intensity rather than the pace. Like mm -hmm. it felt quite organic and it built and built and built and built and it kind of came to a really nice conclusion. And also I'm a big sucker for like arpeggio synthesizers. So I was <laughs> exactly. like, yes. <laughs> I was like, I definitely listen to this tune normally. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. 
I'm a sucker for that too. Easily, like immediately, I was like, yes, Pat Davidson. <laughs> Sci-fi, you say? <laughs> <laughs> You exactly. might not get away with that on a period drama, so you can <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I don't it might be a crime, but I haven't seen Terminator ever, actually. Uh, what? Um, what? I know, I know. No. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And then when I saw the trailer, I was like, okay, maybe I should watch it now. But then I was scared that if I watched it, I would end up accidentally making what I had heard and everything. So I still haven't watched it, but I'm glad things do it now after this. Yeah. You must watch the Terminator. You must watch it now. <laughs> <laughs> um, one second. I'm trying to also do the live chat. You know, it's impossible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what I'll do, guys, by the way, is... Um, so I've put your names under each of those pieces, as you've probably seen. But I'll also put links to your Instagram or whatever you prefer into the description as well afterwards. Probably Instagram, yeah? Is that probably the best... Thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Great. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. All right. Lovely. So, without further ado, we'll move on to the Matthew. Um, no horses were hurt in the production of this uh, trailer, I believe. Uh, All right. <laughs> Everybody ready? Here we go. first never seen one like you before almost human i am human just enhanced i can see you're very upset i'm going to help you protect the girl why do you care what happens to her because i was her my name is sarah connor august 29 1997 it was supposed to be judgment day but i changed the future Saved three billion lives. Enough of it was in every year. No. You may have changed the future. But you didn't change our fate. Okay, guys, microphones. <laughs> yeah, that was great. We need microphones even for the applause, you know? Yeah, even for the applause, yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Super Matthew, do you want to say anything about the approach, the challenges? Uh, the, you know, yeah, well, well, see, I got to like play out a bit of the childhood fantasy here because I was obsessed with Terminator 2 when I was growing up. Uh -huh. I was about 10 years old. And as soon as Brian asked me to do this, I said to him, I'm definitely going to use the Terminator 2 theme tune in there. And that's it. And that's just made me was obsessed with that idea that I couldn't shake it off. I was like, I'm going to do it. And then I kind of planted a few little Easter eggs. And weirdly, when I hadn't really listened to the trailer, except I think when Brian first showed it to me on a, on a Zoom call, and I didn't realize that they'd almost sort of done the same thing, where the original theme tune is that bam, 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 bam rhythm that comes in on the drums, so I use that in the bass. And I was slightly worried about using strings. I thought, it's sort of sci-fi. So I kind of did some strings, but then kind of juxtaposed it with these really dirty big synthesizer, like space synths, um, that kind of sat on the top. And I didn't... And this is probably more to do the fact that, I don't know, maybe I'm just, I've not actually done it that much, especially not trailers, but I didn't really spend that much time like beat matching. And I'm sure like if I had more time, maybe I would do a little bit more of that, but I kind of just thought, I'm just going to get a flow. And then I'll sort of stop things and start things at key points. Mm -hmm. But I didn't really get bogged down and I could probably, you know, develop it more and, and it would add more to it if I did that, but I didn't really... Do you know what I mean? Like some of the cuts where I could have put a bang in and a pop or something. Mm. But um, that would probably be next stage 
from mm -hmm. what I what I did there. Also, I, I did throw in some really obnoxious um, soprano choir part. <laughs> Just because. Why not? Just go big or go home. Right? Yeah, great. I mean, that's that's one of the key things, really. It should be fun, you know. And um, yeah, I'm glad to. I'm always glad to hear that. I'm always relieved, actually, when people say, "Oh yeah, I had fun doing it." I'm like, "Oh, thank God for that," you know. <laughs> um, so yeah. So you say you've not done much trailer stuff, yeah? Before, what about you guys? Have you done much trailer stuff? Um, no, honestly, not really a bit, but I've never done, in general, I've just never done a lot of action-y mm. thingies at mm. all. Mm -hmm. um, so I found this very, it was challenging, but I found it also very fun. It was, it was great also to get to, you know, you get to go a bit more intensely on it. Mm, yeah. Something like that. A bit more full on, yeah? Yeah. Navid, what about you? I guess you've probably done quite a bit of trailer stuff, yeah? Um, for some of the films that I scored, I also did the, the trailer. Mm. So, yeah, so I have, I have some experience in that uh -huh. as well. Uh -huh. All right, cool. So we have one more to share, and then, that, then you guys are free. <laughs> um, so we have Fabio, who unfortunately wasn't able to join us on the Zoom, but he's there in the chat, actually, on YouTube. He's in the live stream chat. So... Um, yeah, here we go. Same drill. <laughs> Over to Fabio. seen one like you before almost human i am human just enhanced i can see you're very upset i'm going to help you protect the girl why do you care what happens to her because i was her my name is sarah connor august 29 1997 it was supposed to be judgment day but i changed the future saved Appreciation for Fabio. So, so Fabio has written some comments in the in the chat, which I will read to you. He said, um, "My approach was very chaotic. I made three versions of the trailer. The first one was very close to the f music of the first Terminator movie, with only synths, and the second one was completely orchestral. And then I decided to create a mix with heavy guitars and orchestrations, and also synth wave." So there we are. So I guess that we ended up with the third one, right? Yeah. So there we are. There's Fabio's insight. Unfortunately, he's not able to to be with us. But um, any any comments, any feedback, or questions? I, I find it no. interesting, but I think oh, Catherine, no, you go. <laughs> <laughs> I find it interesting that the hit point of the Rome Against Slam is like a, 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 a linchpin for the trailer. Mm -hmm. I think everybody so far has used that as, as a, mm -hmm. a night. Like a transition, know. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What did and you. The, the, the part that um, 
not everybody used the beginning part, but what where it where it dissipated and fade out as a as a you know a Mickey Mouse Mickey Mouse kind of thing where you know mm-hmm. where we use that to, to put something when the image goes they have nothing. But yeah, not not all of us use that 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 mm-hmm. method. Mm-hmm. In fact, it's for like half of us used it. You know. Mm-hmm. Any... I thought it was really nice to hear a more, I, I would say that it was yeah, a more orchestral approach. Mm-hmm. Um, and also because, you know, I think a lot of the imagery, of course, is really related to sci-fi and everything. And it was nice to actually uh, hear that contrast of something mm-hmm. orchestral um, mm-hmm. and it still worked. I thought it was really nice. Yeah. A bit of a juxtaposition, yeah, of mm-hmm. the, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I agree. I, I, there was a section in the sort of like, I don't know, if you want to call it the third part when it starts to sort of pick up a bit of pace yeah. where it kind of, mm. the or- or orchestration predominantly kind of brass, which I really liked. Love a bit of brass. And it was kind of mm. like, I don't know, yeah, it, it felt quite original at the fact that it was, the images was, was quite metallic and industrial mm. and stark. And then you've got this brass like quite low end brass which I really like it wasn't like the big Brahm like the Zimmer Brahm it was quite like mm-hmm. more yeah more organic which I, I really like there's nothing wrong with a big Brahm sometimes but mm. um, yeah it was, I really enjoyed that I mean so I would different. everyone's is so different it's yeah really cool. mm-hmm. I would imagine I think it... yeah sorry go on Catherine no, no I think it's interesting how I don't think uh, any of them really now that you mentioned the Zimmer Brahm kind mm. of thing I <laughs> think Actually, all of the different takes on it were in a very different direction than what I could have imagined. Mm-hmm. It was really nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, cool. Thank you, guys. And uh, what did you think about the edit? Because, I mean, obviously, we put, we put these edits together and, uh, you know, we're learning as we go. I mean, did you, did you think it was a reasonable edit to work with and stuff? Um, reasonably, yeah. reasonably realistic? For me, was, yeah. No, for me, it was fine. Mm-hmm. Um, and also the sound design that came with it, um, I just incorporated that mm-hmm. into, you know, yeah. these the sounds. But as I mentioned before, it's, they sounded very metallic and stuff like that, and very uh, sci-fi. So yeah. it, it suited well for the idea that I had. I just mm-hmm. incorporated it and in, incorporated it into into the new music I was creating. Yeah, well, I mean, Archie did the edit for us and he did the sound design and uh, he did a walkthrough of his process as well, which is on YouTube. Uh, so thanks, Archie. Uh, shout out to Archie. Um, and um, yeah, so there we are. So yeah, the, the clip is available for everybody. Um, you know, there's a link in the description underneath so everybody can, can access this and um you know, do your best. Have fun with it, and um, maybe there's some inspiration there from what we've what we've listened to today. Um, and next week we'll do a live stream, and we'll just search through YouTube for for the hashtag QTube Terminator, and we'll just listen to some random ones and try and give you some feedback. So yeah, thanks guys. I really appreciate you coming and uh, for doing that, uh, sharing your creativity with us. And um, it's good to see you all again. And um, yeah, Pleasure hope to see you again sometime. Have yes. a good, have a good day. Have a good evening. Take care, guys. Thank you so much. See yeah, you. Take care. Bye. Take care. Bye bye.